Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom room for our Redmi Note 11. This time this is the Project Blaze and this room comes with a lot of new features as you can see here. The quick setting of this room has been changed to a new good looking UI. As you can see here, it is looking pretty much unique, isn't it? And the developer made a lot of changes in this room. We will talk about later. And uh, this room is based on Android 13. Blaze, Project Blaze version is 2.9 and this is the official ROM from Project Blaze. Its security patch is 5 August 2023 which is the latest and in this video I will be showing you its full review, what we get in this ROM and what's the new features and I will also tell you how you can install it out on your Redmi Note 11 and I will also tell you is it stable for daily usage or not. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before starting the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates. So first of all, let's talk about the performance. The performance of this ROM is pretty much sick. It is working pretty much awesome. I, I have noticed this, uh, that the performance of this ROM is far better than this here Droid for our Redmi Note 11. And in the camera, we get this simple camera pre-installed, but don't worry, you can install open camera or Gcam mode. And if you want a fully Gcam, uh, working mode for your Redmi Note 11 then let me know in the comment section I will drop the link there so there we don't get a lot of boot bloatware only few and needed applications are pre-installed right here and I also had a Geekbank test on it and it scored 408 single core score and the 1138 on multi-core scores these scores are pretty much average and uh, but the performance of this ROM is pretty much sick it is opening every application quickly as you can see here it's just working pretty much fine and from the left you can access the google now and from the home screen you can do a lot of things like in the misc you can just restart the launcher you can also enable the suggestions you can also block the applications to show in the suggestions then we have the recent you can enable some more actions for the recents and you can also enable the memory info actually which is shown at the bottom and uh, after it here we have the app drawer home screen and icon settings then we have widgets you can add a lot of widgets to make your home screen look more unique and uh, then we have the wallpaper and style and from here you can change the wallpaper only one wallpaper is pre-installed in this room by the way if you want to try my wallpaper then I will drop the wallpaper link in the description box. You can download it out and set it on your home screen or lock screen. Then you can change the wallpaper colors. From here you can enable or disable the dark theme. So for me, uh, light theme is looking pretty much good because dark theme is giving you the reflections. Then you can enable or disable the themed icon. You can change the upgrade right from here. Now let's go to the settings and have a look what we get new in this ROM. So first of all, the quick setting is completely changed in this ROM as you can see here the UI of quick settings is pretty much looking good now as you can see here it looks pretty much inspired by MIUI and uh, Oxygen OS as you can see here at the top we have date and connectivity options battery option then we have the other shortcuts and uh, then we have the brightness slider over there and at the end here we have user profile settings and power buttons now have a look on the settings the ui of settings is also changed as you can see here uh, not much but a little bit changed as you can see here first of all here we have the high user then you can search into the settings then we have the user uh, profile right here then we have connectivity options and here we have the display from the display you can manage the brightness you can uh, tweak into the low screen settings you can enable or disable the dark theme you can adjust the size of text and display from right here you can adjust the smallest width and you can also enable or disable the night light which is working fine you can change the color profile then we have smooth display option it will automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content like while playing games or doing scrolling on social media so it's a good thing and then we have tap to wake full screen dc dimming is also available like you are if you are using your mobile in really dark or at night and you like to protect your eyes from the uh, rays coming from your screen then you can enable it out it will dim the screen then we have app refresh rate we don't have any option to set up minimum or maximum refresh rate in this room but still smooth display is enough to get the 90 
hertz refresh rate then we have the blaze house and in the blaze house we have all available customizations the ui of blaze house is also changed it looks more minimalistic and beautiful now this room is completely beautiful and i really like it out how they manage the things and uh, the all credits goes to its developer then we have monet engine right here you can enable the accent color and all other things let's turn it off and uh, then we have the phone styles you can change it out then we have icon size, size signal icon size and uh, ui size uh, setting ui you can also change it to old ui or new ui let's try the new ui and as you can see here wow it looks pretty much beautiful now wow just wow <laughs> I don't have any words to say about this then we have status bar right here and in the status bar you can enable or disable the status bar double tap to sleep then you can manage the battery icons traffic indicators then we have status bar icons colored icon 4g icon and all the things we don't have any option to enable the icon for the status bar then we have QS settings lock screen settings then we have system from here you can enable the in-call vibration playback control enable you can also enable the advanced restart and we have the smart pixels it will reduce the power consumption and uh, then we have parallel space frame rate in screen record and uh, higher fps in games you can definitely do gaming on it because it's a high performance rom and then we have wallpaper and style sound and vibration let's have a look on it and here we have direct sound enhancer so it's a good thing it will enhance your uh, sounding quality you can also enable the hi-fi then we have clear speaker and all other typical settings then we have apps notifications and uh, then we have security in the security all security options are working because the security patch of this rom is pretty much latest that's why we get all security options face unlock is available fingerprint is working and uh, on screen locks are also working then after it here we have privacy location battery the battery backup of this rom is pretty much good here we have thermal profiles and battery usage i had noticed that the charging speed of this rom is not that uh, fast it is charging it slowly maybe it is uh, there is a uh, issue with my uh, charger or something else but if you face the same problem you can try changing the kernel then we have battery saver battery manager then we have uh, storage password and other things then we have system in the system we have languages and input live translate gestures in the gesture we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is pretty much useful and uh, then we have press and hold power button swipe three finger for screenshot prevent ringing and then we have date and time backup update system this update system will work because this is an official build from the project blaze and then we have multiple users reset option and at the end you can check your android version which is 13 the blaze version is 2.9 security patch of this rom is also pretty much latest so this rom is kind of smooth and it is pretty much suitable to be used as daily driver so the download link of this rom is in the description box you can download it out from the description and if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 11 then you can follow the on screen instructions to install it out it is pretty much easy and this was the video for today i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates if you have any question or queries about this video then let us know in the comment section you can also join us on the telegram telegram group and channel link in the description box keep supporting thanks for watching peace